Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extend the hard drive capacity of a PS3 III, the Super Slim. This is the fourth generation of this machine. Irritatingly, Sony don't inform you until you open the package and read the literature that in order to do this, you need to purchase a separate component. You need to buy a cradle in order to do this, called the CECHZCD1. This is sold separately. Uh, it's not widely available yet, even though Sony claim it is. Uh, you can buy it off eBay. However, I'm just going to MacGyver it and use a bent credit card. I'm going to show you how to do this too. So here are my two PS3s. This is the older one, the Generation 3, the Slim, and this is the new one, the Super Slim, the fourth generation. I simply brought the new one because this one broke. So it freezes and I get white lines down the screen and it won't read the hard drive and it's all a bit of a disaster really. If anyone knows a fix for that, please drop me an email. Um, I've trawled the internet but nothing's coming up and please don't tell me to try and change the video cables because I've already tried that. That's uh, obviously not the problem. Anyway, why would you buy the Super Slim? Well, quite simply because it's cheap. It comes with a 12 gigabyte hard drive and therefore the price is lowered. And because I thought that maybe the hard drive was broken on this one, I brought a new 250 gig hard drive and now have a spare hard drive lying around. However, when you replace the hard drive on this one, the cradle is inside the machine when you open it up. When you open the bay that contains the disk drive, the cradle is already there. You just pull it out, put the disk drive in and put it back in. With this one, as we'll see later, there's a big hole, but there's no cradle. And the new cradle that you have to buy is about 20 pounds when you include the postage. And it's not that easy to get your hands on. I, I, I'm finding very few websites that are actually stocking it. One small thing I will say in this um, is that with the Super Slim, they have changed the disk drives. On this, it's the standard disk drive that we all know and love. On this, they've changed it to a uh, top addressed system. So you push the button here to open it. If I can find the button. Ah, lost it. There it is. It's here. And it slides. And then you close it by hand, I assume. Now, that feels like that will break in about five minutes, but it hasn't done so far, so we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. Open like that. Oh, still spinning. Lovely. And close like this. So here's the PS3. What you want to do is turn it on its side. Now, if you look at this side, we can see there's a PS3 emblem. You want to go to the opposite side where there isn't one. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this panel here, and you're going to push it away from the front. So the front is currently this end, with the buttons on and stuff and we're going to push it away from the front towards the back, if I can, like so. You don't want to claw it with your nails or anything, push it backwards, and then it just comes off like that, and just throw it away. <laughs> uh, no, keep that for later. So, we can see here is the bay, and I'll do a close-up of that in a second. So here's a close-up of the disk drive bay. Uh, depth of field is going to play around here, so let's focus on the outside of it, and then let's see if we can focus on the ports inside it. Yeah, there you can go. You can just see the connectors inside now. Now, if I look at my hard drive, which is there on the floor, <coughs> I'll just grab that for you. This is my Western Digital 250 gig hard drive. Um, remember, you need to buy one that is 5,400 RPM, otherwise it won't work. So make sure you get the right type of hard drive. Now, these are the ports on the outside of the drive, which match the uh, corresponding holes inside the uh, bay here. Now if you look, if I put this inside, you can see that it kind of wriggles around a lot. It doesn't exactly fit. And that's why you need to buy this uh, CCHZCD1 bay cradle thing that Sony is selling. Uh, and you don't find this out, as I keep saying, until you've already opened up the PS3 and then read the literature. So I think it's a bit sneaky of them because, as we've already said, you'd only really buy this uh, if you had an external hard drive already and wanted to save some money. So I think it's a bit tight and cheap and, and not very fair of them really. I'm going to try and film this in real time, but if you see any crossfades, that's simply because I don't want to bore you guys with uh, unnecessary video. What you want to do is take your external hard drive here and look at the connectors on the end. You can see there's a, a larger bit here and a smaller connector here. And that has to correspond, obviously, with the connectors on the inside. So that's this way around. I've already taken a look inside. And then you've got to kind of guess. Without the cradle, it's not going to fit perfectly. So we've got to guess where those connectors are and see if we can make the connection. And there you go. Straight in. First time. Fantastic. But you might find it's hard to find, and you have to slide it forwards and backwards and up and down a bit until you find the sweet spot. You can see now all the space that's around this, and if, if I put this uh, horizontally again, it would end up sitting like this. So because of the space, what I'm going to do is take a credit card here, and I've cut it into four pieces. 
Uh, I've had a little bit of an experiment with this and four pieces seems to be the optimum number for the correct thickness. I'm going to slide that just under the hard drive. So now, when I move it horizontal, the drive should sit nicely as it is. We're then going to take this and slide it back onto the case to repair the case. Um, it says front here, if you can read that. It says front here, so it's going to go this way, slide on, and push and close. Now the PS3 is back together, you simply want to switch it on, and uh, hopefully you can read this. It says a hard disk was found. Do you want to change the location of where you save your data? Yes to that, X. Uh, to change the location, save your data to the hard disk. All data on the hard disk will be deleted, and data from the flash memory will be copied to the hard drive. So it's going to move the data that's already there to the new hard drive, and it's going to delete anything that's there. This is a brand new hard drive, there's nothing on it, so uh, yes to that. And let's see what happens. So now you can see it says copying, and do not turn off the system. So here we are at 97%, uh, it's taken about 10 minutes for it to do this. I assume if you had a bigger hard drive, a 500 gig for instance, I assume it would take a lot longer. It's taken about 10 minutes so far. Uh, I'll take this opportunity now just to have a massive disclaimer to everyone out there. You should really buy the Cradle, obviously, uh, fire hazard uh, or damage to the hard drive or losing your data. Probably isn't worth risking for the sake of uh, £20. So now after that reboot, it started to rebuild the hard drive data. Uh, as I say, massive disclaimer, would recommend buying the Cradle really because from fire point of view or maybe losing your data, for the sake of £20 it's probably not worth it. I've done this simply because I'm quite angry at Sony for not including it. I think it's just a, a stealth tax, for want of a better term. And I just wanted to show you how it's possible to do this modification. However, massive disclaimer, please don't blame me if your flat burns down or you lose all your games or anything. Uh, I will post and let you know if uh, how it goes and if over a period of time I find any problems with uh, just ramming a credit card under the hard drive. But this is what I'm going to do. And... Uh, as I say, please don't blame me if you lose any of your gaming data or if your flat burns down. Remember to switch off the PS3 overnight. There's no point in wasting uh, the universe and uh, the environment. Uh, there's no need for it to be on standby while you're sleeping. And again, just from a safety point of view. So now it's rebuilt the hard disk data. That's the PS3 back to normal and uh, business as usual. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check out the Coffee Break School guitar videos. That's really what I do full time. I just wanted to show you this because uh, I thought it was useful and it took me a long time to find the information regarding this. But uh, check out coffeebreakschool.com, uh, check out the Coffee Break School website, videos on YouTube. Um, you play PS3 already, so why not learn a bit of guitar as well? Do something else that's uh, a lot of fun and very rewarding. Have an absolutely fantastic day and thanks for watching my video.